Hello friends, this is lesson two of our ecology unit and here is our vocabulary for today's chapter. So the first one is food chain and this is a relationship of living things as food sources for another living thing. So it basically shows um, what animals and plants are being eaten by one another in a specific ecosystem. A sapling is a young tree. Mighty means it's really large in size. To wander means moving around without a particular direction or purpose. So you're just walking around aimlessly. Uh, a nutrient is a vitamin or mineral that helps living things stay healthy. To protect is to keep safe from harm. A predator is an animal that lives by hunting other animals. Defense is a way to protect against harm. Prey is an animal that is hunted by another animal for food. Microscopic is very, very small. It can only be seen with a microscope. And an apex is the top point. All right. So today's chapter is called Food Chains. Now you know something about squirrels and oak trees. Each has something to offer the other. The tree may produce thousands of acorns each year, but only a few will actually sprout and become saplings. Of those saplings, only a couple will survive and grow into mighty oaks, spreading their roots and changing with the seasons. The rest of the acorns will be eaten by one creature or another. Deer eat them sometimes, and so do various birds that wander through the forest, such as turkeys and woodpeckers. The acorns that aren't eaten will be covered by leaves, soaked by rain, and frozen by snow. If they aren't eaten by worms or other underground things, some of them will sprout into saplings. And this is a picture of a deer, and the caption says, Sometimes deer will eat acorns. In the forest ecosystem, living things depend on one another. Many living things depend on trees for shelter and food. You can almost certainly find bugs on any tree. Woodpeckers can find them too. If you dig down into the soil or scrape away some tree bark, you will discover all sorts of other critters in the forest ecosystem, such as worms, beetles, and ants. You might not see all those insects and other little critters when you look around the forest, but they are there. You can find them under leaves, rocks, and fallen trees. Mostly their world is underground and out of sight unless you are willing to get dirty digging for them. What are all those bugs doing there? They are doing what all living things do, surviving. To survive, living things need food. The nutrients in food provide energy for the body. Without energy, the body stops. It's that simple. What else are bugs and other living things doing besides eating? They are doing whatever it is they need to do in order to produce young. Plants make seeds. Mammals, such as squirrels and deer, give birth to live babies. Bugs and birds lay eggs. Spiders make egg sacs, like the one in this image. When the sack opens, hundreds of tiny baby spiders will run out. Most of them will be eaten by other bugs. Those that survive will grow to be hunters like their parents. Living things must also develop ways to protect themselves from other things in the ecosystem. Squirrels build their nests high in trees away from predators. Worms dig down into the soil. Snails and turtles have shells to protect them. Unfortunately for squirrels, worms, snails, and turtles, these defenses do not always work. The predators that hunt and eat other animals for a living have, heart, have sharp teeth and claws for catching their prey. And that is the picture of spiders making an egg sac. There are ecosystems in many places. Each ecosystem has its own food chain. Look at the image of the wolf, the deer, and the acorn. This is a very simple way to think of the food chain. Smaller animals are eaten by slightly larger animals, but this image only represents a small part of a real food chain. Most food chains also include plants. They also include bacteria and other tiny microscopic organisms. Plants and smaller animals 
are usually near the bottom of the food chain. At the top of the food chain, you will find beasts like grizzly bears, lions, blue whales, or white, great white sharks. These animals are too big to be hunted by anything else. A lion or shark is called an apex predator because it is at the top of the food chain. There's our food chain. So this says that the um, wolf is eating the deer and the deer is eating the acorns. All right. Number one says, what is often a hidden from sight in the forest? Two, what is a food chain? And number three, all living things need blank to survive. That is all for today. I will see you next time. Have a great day.